We are joined with Gracie Grace and all the good boys. How are we doing? Hey, hey, doing pretty good. Hey. I don't know where I want to start. There's a few, there's like a few, like you guys literally just got off stage not too long ago. Yeah, like literally moments ago. Major Levitate debut, didn't even know you were playing not too long ago, but something really exciting happened at the end of your set. <laughs> Uh, you got proposed to. I did get proposed to, as it turns out. Or so it has been explained to me. Um, it's kind of a blur. Um, you know, after ten rapid-fire, bluesy, rock and roll, all-out songs, I see my, my boyfriend, my fiancé, whatever you want to call him, uh, my David, walk on stage, and I was like, well, oh, I feel like I'm in trouble. Like, what's going wrong? Why is David getting on stage? Um, but I had just sung a song for him, so I thought he would just maybe come out to say thank you. And I was even critiquing his mic technique. <laughs> he was doing one of these, and I was like, David, into the mic. And he was like trying to get down on one knee, and, and yeah, he popped the question, and I said yes. Do you even remember what was going through your no. head at the time? <laughs> Not at all. Um, I keep asking people, I'm like, what song did we end with? Like, was it, which one was it? I don't even remember. We did Dreams right before that. Oh, we yeah. did a little cover. We did a little Dreams by the Cranberries, which was very, a very powerful, very full so circle moment for us and uh well that's yeah. so amazing congratulations thank you so much i mean another congratulations is in order because I, I just said you, you all made your levitate debut this year how was the set beyond beyond the proposal um how was it how did your set compare to expectations versus reality of levitate do you guys want to answer that yeah I, mean, I, I think it felt incredible uh you know trying to really embrace the moment and take it all in look out at the crowd and see my friends out there and so many familiar faces and my friends up on stage with me and then top it off with the you know the proposal you yeah. can't go wrong you know so it was a dream come true enough enough about that enough about that <laughs> it was really awesome to have like Declan said so many familiar faces yeah. and so much support and an outpouring of love um, supporting us here at Levitate for the first time um, this has been a, a long time in the making and I really feel like we knocked it out of the park I've, I felt great but Definitely. I walk away from a lot of gigs being like that was awesome <laughs> and I, I don't know I saw some smiling faces how about you Andrew and Josh yeah I can tell. Um, yeah, it was a really, really incredible experience. Um, I just, I, I really love sharing the stage with these people, and um, I feel like we always have good chemistry on stage, but there was definitely something about being here, like the excitement of everything and, and all the people and all the, the loud speakers and the monitors and everything. It was, it was kind of surreal and just felt like a really good yeah. time. So I didn't even really pay attention to how we played, to be honest. <laughs> I was just enjoying the time up there and yeah so was this the biggest stage you've ever played yeah i would say definitely i mean you didn't uh, when did you actually find out that you were playing <laughs> um like set like seven days ago yeah, like a week like and a half ago tops <laughs> so okay can you walk me through the contest like so you just applied you sent a video how did that work yeah so um they posted their their annual post they did it last year and shout out to co-pilot who won the inaugural get on stage with levitate um and we loved watching them and their set last year and um, we figured when the post came up this year, like, let's do this. Like, let's give them a good, a good application. We wrote a little essay about, you know, what makes you want to get on stage at Levitate. And we've all been attending Levitate for years now. Yeah. Um, or I, I can, can't speak for all of us, but I've, I've been here for a long time coming to these shows and, and uh, laying out my blanket nice and early and seeing all <laughs> these different beautiful acts get up there. And uh, to see a lot of our idols pass through. I mean, even this weekend, Lake Street Dive last night was incredible. And um, we thought, like, let's give it our, let's give it a shot. Let's, you know, we play live a lot. Let's send some live clips of what, you know, a Gracie Grace show is like. And uh, we were just completely blindsided to be, you know, accepted as the one of the winners alongside Blue Light Bandits. Uh, That's who played awesome. on Friday. Yeah, and we're really lucky too. A lot of our friends are playing the festival this week too. So it's just a big communal event for everybody in the South Shore. So it's really proud of everybody, you know. Mark King band yesterday was a couple of really close buddies of ours, and. Uh, uh, Samba, Joe Samba, the Rins, you know, Elvis Collins, Elevators, yeah. yeah, so. It's a good weekend for the South Shore. A very good weekend for the South Shore, yeah. Be a part of it. Yeah, well, congratulations again. You all truly deserve it. And it's, I can, like, tell how happy you are, and it's making me extra happy. Um, you mentioned the South Shore community. I saw in an Instagram post you thanked them for, for getting you this far. I would love to learn more about the South Shore community. Like, how have they supported you, and how did they guide you here? Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's kind of in the name, Gracie Grace and all the good boys. It really started with me wanting to get together with so many different talented people here, uh, boys and girls all over the South Shore, men and women, whatever you want to call <laughs> humans, great humans everywhere. And, um, and we really just wanted to build something and keep going no matter where people's paths or lives took them. So we've had a lot of lineup changes over the years that we really do 
um, consider everyone that's passed through the, the Gracie Grace Gates an honorary good boy. And there were a lot of them out in the crowd, you know, a few of them playing on stage yesterday and today. And um, we really couldn't do it without all the influence that comes here from such an open and truly happy for one another community here yeah. on the South Shore. Everyone's, you know, really happy to see each other succeed and build together. And, you know, it takes a village. And the South Shore is a, definitely a village I'm proud to be a part of. Yeah. Well, I know the support for you all it supersedes the South Shore, actually. I saw that you won a New England Music Award. We did, yeah. The Best Blues Act of the Year. Was it last year, I believe? Or two years ago, yeah. It was another incredible opportunity. And, uh, you know, it's like so many people in the scene that just helped us along the way and, you know, gave us a lending hand and the people out there and all the crowds and, you know, helping us with t-shirts, sales yeah. and everything, you know. So it's it's been awesome, you know. Glad to be a part Bu of it. Bubble guns. Yeah, bubble guns. Yeah, <laughs> Letty with the bubble guns. Shout out, Letty. Yeah, it was great. It was great. That's amazing. It's really cool just to hear your story because it's so, like, almost a grassroots approach to being in a band, and it's clearly paid off, and you just played, like, your biggest <laughs> festival ever, and it's only up from here. I'm curious, what are you what are you working on right now? Well, we're so glad that you asked. We, uh, we actually debuted a couple of brand new songs, very new songs, as uh, early as a couple weeks old on stage today, wow. um, and we've really just taken this momentum and felt really creatively charged by it. We have um, a record that we're working on in the studio now and we're already daydreaming about maybe a, a new one, you know, different genres and styles. We kind of want to just really get our music out to the people. Like it's yeah. really motivated us. Like we feel really honored that the audience was so, um, what's the word? They, we really really well received our music and so we want to we want to honor them and get our music back out to them so I think that's where a lot of our heads are at right now yep let's go are we talking like full studio recordings are they live are they gonna be live versions yeah, probably like the full thing I mean we awesome. have a couple of like you know live takes and then we do some like more complicated stuff layers yeah, yeah. and stuff so yeah you know what's been inspiring us like maybe sonically or lyrically for this new this new project I mean, obviously, all the all the people in this festival. I mean, like we got to come the whole weekend and like yeah. you know be inspired by all these great bands and you know Lake Street Dive played last night. It was incredible. Like we try to bring some of the sounds from all the different bands that we love and bring it together in our band. You know. Yeah, I feel like we do have like a lot of influences from different bands, but I know for me, like just hearing when Grace starts singing and like doing her thing, <laughs> that makes me like want to play a certain way. Like I don't like think of like anybody else that sings quite like you which is amazing Thanks. so like it definitely takes all of the influence that I've had and that everybody and like my friends like you guys keep saying like it's just so nice to be with wonderful people up on stage that like that's what makes me play the way that I do is like you guys and like the way Grace sounds and like right. I don't it know is. it's a lot of listening to each other and we have a lot of beautiful influences I mean I could go on Susan Tedeschi and, and the Tedeschi trucks and the Allman Brothers my first concert I, I always like to share was Aerosmith so <laughs> thank you mom and dad for for taking me to that <laughs> And um, yeah, I mean, Amy Winehouse, the list goes on. There's just so much incredible music out there and we want to yeah. get our hands all over it. You are all so cool. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're, you too, You're like so positive. <laughs> I can tell you guys will work together nicely. We got good um, people. Obviously, we're just talking about your music. We're talking about your career. We're here, the happiest tent in all of Levitate, the Happy yeah. Valley tent. Beyond that, like in your personal life, what what are some things that make you happy? The beach. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say music, but I mean that's kind of that's a cop out. But uh, yeah, just the community vibes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Andrew? So many things. Yeah, I'm not much of a beach person. I love the mountains. I love wildlife. I feel you. I love, I love being out in the woods. So it's one of my favorite things. John. Yeah, I mean the, the beach and my friends and music and uh, my new cat. She's the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out. What's her name? Uh, Abby. Shout She's out Abby. Cutie. Yep. I love it. Well, hopefully cannabis makes you happy because we got <laughs> we got some goodies for you. You should have said that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 That makes me very Declan unhappy. didn't know he could say that. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I'm a, I'm a bandana guys, boy. You're going to have to teach trouble. me how to use some of these. Oh, no. We're in trouble, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. yes. Word. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. What? This is incredible. Very Do we have to share with the rest of the bandmates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Well, there's plenty of stuff in here. So yeah, seriously. Uh, they'll be able to have Wow. Oh, my God. You guys, this is so generous. Oh, thank, thank you, guys. Yeah, really. Well, congrats again. Thanks I for giving us the star treatment. Are... You know, we're new to this. So. Yeah.